Hmm. Okay. Let's talk about this. Real quick. Tyrese reflects on his infamous beef with Dwayne Johnson. It really just came down to survival. Complex Magazine reports. Hi, I'm James Joffreon. King Joffy, or just call me Joffy. Call me James. You're in Joffy's VIP room. Let's get at it with this little uh, beef that Tyrese said he had with The Rock. So, just as real quick. Okay, so... Though it feels like it was eons ago, the publicly played out issues between Tyrese and Dwayne The Rock Johnson actually weren't that long ago. Still enough time appears to have passed for Tyrese, who previously characterized Johnson as breaking up the family of the Fast and Furious franchise via a spinoff to have gained a seemingly more meditative take on those issues. Appearing on Fat Joe's Instagram series this week, the F9 star described himself as someone who's simply too real to fake it. He also told Joe he has no issues with The Rock currently, further claiming that he never really did. It really just came down to survival. He said, I think at the end of the day, if you could ever see yourself saying, you know what, I don't have a competitive bone in my body. I pride myself literally on not beefing and not going at any, at nobody, not having no issues with nobody. But, you know, I'm a hood N word that will protect survival at all costs. Uh, regardless of the politics of the situation, Tyrese continued. He acknowledged that he was very vocal about the issues at the time and theorized that Johnson himself would understand why. It's not in me to say anything new about that man, he said. I wish him the best. He's a great father and now a husband. And, you know, literally, if you look at footage and photos all over the Internet, he's a giant bear. He's just a great great guy with a big heart and we just kind of got into a situation that ended up playing out for the world to see but i don't have any ill will feelings and we may end up doing fast 10 and 11 together you just never know tyrese reiterated that any comments he made publicly came from a place of survival and noted that he has admiration for johnson and how he handles his career i got love for the rock he said i wish him well he's one of the biggest movie stars in the world and i look up to him and respect him him. Okay. Survival. What does he mean by that? So I think what he means by that survival is saying that, okay, so we all, a good majority of us are all know that at a certain point, Tyrese um, had, was struggling financially. And there were rumors going around saying he had to borrow money from Will Smith and Jada Pinkett or whatever. And I know that the, those Fast Furious movies got put on hold because The Rock wanted to make his films and bring others into the franchise. And that just wasn't sitting right with Tyrese um, from what it looks like. Uh, from what, yeah, from what it looks like. I don't want to put any, uh, well, hell, I just did. <laughs> I don't know the full situation. We all don't know the full situation. We only can go based off what we saw and what we heard. Of course, the rumors fly around. But the good thing about that is that the good thing about all this is that they squashed their beef, whatever beef they had with, with each other. Um, and they made up. I think during this pandemic, people uh, are looking at, you know, what was what happened, what take place in their certain lives. To where they had a disagreement with, uh, with each other, that they're coming to a terms of like, let's talk it out, let's hash it out because life is too short. There's people dying every day. There's people dying even more because of this virus. It's stupid. It sucks. We hate it. So, I mean, hey, that's how some people are, are doing things. They, it, it's, it really takes a toll on your, on your health mentally um, to hold on to grudges. And it really makes no sense to hold on to grudges, depending on, I guess, Depending on what it is, whatever, I don't know. Some people move different. Some people uh, say potato. Some people say, what's a different word? Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever they have with each other, um, it looks like it has subsided and they're going to be working on some Fast Five. Fast Five. Fast. Oh, my God. How many movies do they need to? Oh my, I know they're about to finish it up, but my goodness. I remember back in, I was in middle school. I had hair. When they was doing this, this Fast Furious franchise, they was just street racers. Now they jumping out of planes and fighting tanks and secret agents and people. Somebody dies and come back to life and <sighs> R.I.P. Paul Walker. 
anyways, um, fire off in the comments below. You guys, uh, tell me what you think about this whole uh, <laughs> beef thing they had going on. Tell me your side. Be safe.